That's one thing I really appreciate about Peggy is she teaches people how to think, mm -hmm. how to think for themselves. Yeah, because communism wants to think for you. And all my veterans, your father, all my veterans fought against communism. And look what's in our country. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I, but I believe that, you know, like I said, God's got an army. And um, I've even become, um, I'm even in, exercising my Second Amendment rights now, the right to bear arms. Whereas a couple, three years ago, it just didn't click. It's clicked big time with me now. Um, and I, I've got a concealed permit. And um, anyways, I've got a, a, I carry a firearm sometimes in public. But I would never use it unless it was like, you know, the devil coming right at me. But, um, but still, that defense, that last line of the defense. I have an 87-year-old Hungarian woman that lives here in the area. I tried to interview her. Um, her name's Barbara Biki, but she escaped communism in Hungary. And there's many stories of people escaping communism. But one of her warnings for America is don't ever let them take your guns away. That's one of our last lines of defenses, and that that to a lot of people, uh, no, not uh. If the no. Jews had gun, if the Jews had guns, the Holocaust never would have happened, you know. And on and on through history. So, um, and I've really become a, a almost like an activist. It's like I, I stand up for my second. I just ordered a couple hats that say the second protects the first with a couple of rifle crossbars, and I, I just am, I'm not a fanatic, but I tell you what, God teaches our hands to war and our fingers to fight, the Bible says. Absolutely. And, you know, and so that's, the, you know, that's where I'm at in my life right now. So that's become a, a big part of what I'm doing. Um, I'm, I'm learning, I'm getting more proficient. I worked in law enforcement years ago, so I carried a firearm, right. but it's, yeah. been 30, it's been 30 years, so. Right, right. So, anyway. Well, I'm, I'm taking lessons. I, uh, I have two sons yeah. that are in the military, or were in the military. They both just retired okay <laughs> uh, one navy one army mm. and so i my navy son has set me up quite well with with some um firearms awesome yeah you're the, you're you're the girl <laughs> we had this group of women come through town recently and, and their whole model is shoot like a girl so it was a, a women's um opportunity for women to come out and learn how to shoot and all this and right. But I, I really admire that and like that. Actually, you know me, I had my iPhone, so I, I took a little video of them. And actually, I had one of my YouTube videos is Shoot Like a Girl. And oh. I, I did interviews with them that, that day as they were leaving. I felt compelled to go up to them. What are you doing? You know, this is great. You know, but their whole thing is gun safety, gun responsibility, which it should be. And I'm, I'm, I'm really close to doing another video. I haven't done it yet. I've done a couple on guns. I did one called Guns, one called Guns and Gas. I don't know if you saw them. Did you see there those? No, I'm gonna. Oh, look. I'll send them to you. You gotta see them. Okay. You gotta watch it. They're so good. They're empowering and for people that are just like, what's going on? But um, I'm gonna do another one. And uh, but I, I just feel I feel God. I, I I pray about these things. And I'm not 100% sure it's always God every time. But I pray that His Spirit would lead me into what I should share, what I should say. Mm -hmm. So I feel you know I don't have a large audience with a lot of these videos, but. It's okay, those that watch it will get something out of it, but um, I'm so glad to hear that you're, 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 you're into it right on, oh, good yeah. for you. So's Peggy. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that, that's awesome. Right Peggy on. Both, yeah. Yeah, and I tell you what, you know, I've got an 86, 87 year old friend back east and he, uh, he's not real mobile, but he says he'll back up anybody he has to because he's totally Second Amendment, but he belongs to a militia out there. And he talks about Civil War occasionally. And I, I, think, I think a lot about the Civil War in the in 1800s and what led to that, Americans fighting Americans, killing Americans. But you know what? I, I would proudly, proudly go out of this world firing my gun at anybody coming to my house to take my gun away. That I wouldn't even pray about it. I would just get my clips, get my ammo, and just keep shooting and shooting until they took me out because that's how much I believe in that. Oh, yeah. and, and I don't live and breathe that, but that, that's how much I believe in our Constitution. Our, our Second Amendment, the people attacking the gun, the whole gun thing, are rooted in the evil, rooted in the devil, I believe, because that whole Constitution is founded on godly principles, this country, freedom. 
And it's because as part of our constitution, they cry gun control every time there's a shooting. So that's all that is. It's an attack, a spiritual attack, manifest in this natural world, of course, but they're not gonna do it. They're not gonna be able to do it. There's so many people. I heard there's 90 million gun owners in this country. That's a lot, 90 million. That's a big army. So. Yeah, and how many rounds of ammo do we have? <laughs> how many, you, yeah, that's a good question. You know, I mean, I think I think we're we're pretty, we gun owners are pretty well armed. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I, I just am so glad to hear that. And that, that's good to know that there's a, another person in my life that I know that is, is so on board with this whole thing. Awesome. And, uh,